He'll go against Isaiah Cozart, the A-Sun Player of the Year and the unanimous Defensive Player of the Year, leading the nation in shot blocks. And Comer and the Curtles, the crowd will stand until they score on their feet. And Comer comes left. He is guarded all the way by McCray. Now back to Comer as he turns the corner ahead of the key. Down to 13 to shoot. Comer drives. Left side, Blanton, three ball. No. Cozart, good offensive rebounder. Back up. Missed it. Moreno offensive rebound. He drew the foul. Couldn't get the shot to go, but they got two big offensive boards. Now Michael Moreno kind of struggled the last week on his three-point shooting. They ran a little flared and rescreen for him out on top. And then they, on the kick out, Blanton misses, but Cozart right there for the rebound. And Michael Moreno finishing up the work. Moreno ninth in the conference with rebounding at 6.4. And Moreno puts the foul shot in, and the crowd can sit if they want. Maybe standing a lot tonight. Michael Moreno up to 1,628 points, sixth all time at EKU. Great player in Scott County, hit both foul shots and hadn't been a good year for the foul line for him, but he got both of those. He's now 12 and 25 of the year, 2 0 EKU. Full court pressure in backcourt on Powell. Now McCray back to Powell. Jacksonville very patient, even though they scored 92 last night. They play KSU's pace and won the game. Hand off to the big guy, Workman. Head of the key, Payne. High right, they go to Bell, who gets the start tonight. Six to shoot to McCray. Good screen, Payne. There goes McCray into the lane. Cozart slapped at it, missed. Cozart touched on the rebound, battled for it, battled for it, comes down to Payne. Throw it left side to Workman. Into the body of Cozart, put it in to tie the game at two. Workman with the bucket. Workman is going to show you the ball inside. He'll pump fake, try to get you off your feet. He did that twice on the same play right there. Comer comes left side to Blanton out high. Blanton to the foul line, into the corner left to Walker. First team all conference. Missed it. Rebound by Workman, already two boards. He had a double-double at the four-and-a-half-minute mark of the first half. That's how good he was last night. Tied to two, J.U. looking for the first lead. Walker plays defense, pow to the foul line, over to Payne. They'll give him the 15-footer. He can't make him pay. Workman went over the back of Moreno, and Moreno touched it out of bounds. Good job by Workman, got to draw the foul. Jacksonville very physical, and they attack the offensive glass as well as anyone in the league. Number one in rebounding, as you see the missed shot, and Workman not fouling as he went over top of Moreno. Lob it into Workman, off the end line. A.W. Hamilton in front of the play like he's playing defense. It's going to be a defensive battle. Workman drives around Comer. Comer tips it away. Workman got it back. Goes on a pain for the stop for the Dolphins. Go to the front of the scoreboard. Eastern didn't seal off the weak side right there on the penetration. Easy dump down. 4-2 Dolphins. Bounce pass come to me to Walker now between the rings to Blanton. 13 ball conference. Blanton drives to the foul line. Shut down by Payne. Round left to Walker. Walker driving in, looking for something. In trouble. Flips it up. Missed it. Cozart, second offensive rebound. Back up in. Tied at four. Yeah, Cozart is relentless on the glass. He's got that long reach. 7-2 wingspan. And he gets his hands on a lot of balls. Number six in the country in offensive boards. Leads the country in block shots. School record here at EKU. Season and career. 4-4 of the game. 17-15. Dolphins the 10 seed, barely got to the tournament over Bellarmine and Central Arkansas, trying to take advantage of a free pass there late after they lost Friday. Bell to the baseline, finds an eight-footer, no. Moreno with a rebound. Moreno with two boards. Comer flips it to Cozart. Cozart had to save it in. That was an ill-advised pass by Comer, trying to force it to the big guy at the baseline. Bell will try from three, way long. They went over the back of Moreno, they said off Moreno. Moreno kind of gasping there. He thought he got hit in the back of the head. Look at him checking his noggin there. Let's see it. You know, Bell got the early look in offense right there. And Moreno was trying to keep Payne away from the ball. Payne yeah. really good about keeping the ball active. Good non-call. There was no foul there. Cooper's come in for EKU, and on the inbounds, Cozart steals it. So, again, Cooper has come in. Comer has come out. Walker will run the point in a 4-4 game. 
Walker feeds it low to Cozart. He's bumped. He's fouled. He misses. He'll have to earn him from the 15-foot line. Yeah, nice roll to the basket after the screen by Cozart. And then a really good feed by Leland Walker. Here you see it. Cozart will usually finish that right there and, and still go to the line, but he's got to earn them with two shots right here. Foul was called on Jossie Powell. Fouled out of two games in his career, and Cozart just hit the bottom of the net there. He was way short. Cozart coming in now. 83 of 154. He's had 71 misses this year from the foul line. One more for Cozart. Played at Madison Central for a former Colonel Allen Feldhouse. Cozart second, no good as well. That'll hurt EKU if they can't hit him. 69.6, ninth in the conference. Jacksonville 11th, but they shot 82% from the line last night. There's McCray, bank miss, Cooper the foul. A.W. Ha Hamilton not happy with the whistle there. So he has seen the offensive rebound effort force two under the basket out of bounds, and then Cooper tried to be aggressive. As you see, the head coach in year six, the A-Sun coach of the year, McCray tough in on Cooper. I didn't see a foul there at all, Doug. What do you think? I didn't see much right there, but I'll tell you what. McCray, he's left-handed, but he can go to the right just as well. Also 2019, A-Sun coach of the year, or OBC coach of the year, so done it in two conferences. It is six years as McCray got a gift from the whistle there, and he's going to make the Colonels pay. A-Sun third-teamer this year, one-time player of the week, two-time newcomer of the week. Transferring in from Wake Forest, where he redshirted last year. 6-4, Dolphins. Here comes Walker to forecourt. Comer on the bench, now Moreno. He is guarded by Nyblack, who's checked in. Like a starter, but he comes off the bench, Blanton through traffic, finds an eight-footer, front rim, no. Eastern Kentucky, a slow start from the field, one of six, two of six for the Dolphins. They lead by two, four minutes in. Here's Nyblack, beat it low to Workman, Moreno on it. Workman takes him in. It's easy pickings for Workman. And he stays low. He's got those strong physical legs. He got good position right there. Four in a row, and they've doubled up the Colonels 8-4 early. Dangerous bounce. Walker to Blanton. Corner to Cooper. Back to Blanton. 15-40 in a moving first half clock. Blanton draws a double. He's in trouble, and he walked through the basketball timeout. Jacksonville was tipped away offensively. They've had a couple good looks. Not able to capitalize. There's a look at McCray, who started that career away for us, averaged below two, 14 games, then sat out last year, and he's taken on a leadership role here. He's a high power five guy. McCray drives on Cooper, uses the shoulder into him, scores. That's their game, and Cooper has been unable to handle McCray twice now. And it's 10 4, JU on a 6 0 run. Walker driving in, fall away, 12 footer, no good. EKU, one of seven. The worst nightmare, a cold shooting night. Here comes McCray. Blanton this time on. Up, but Jacksonville early to lead. Make the Colonels the one seed play catch up. Rivers has come in wearing double threes with the ball. Lobs it right corner, McCray. McCray baseline. Out to Blacks. Slips. Nye Black. Nye Black got loose. Four to shoot. Oh, beautiful pass to Bell. And they've scored eight in a row. What Jackson a pass by Nye Black. Jacksonville doing a great job of getting into the paint. And then everything opens up from there. EKU 220 without a point. And one of seven from the field. Who's going to lift the lid? It's going to be that guy. Lob into Cozart. And he missed the shot at the cup, but he's fouled. Eastern leaving everything short. The muscles aren't loosened up yet. Feeling a little tight here. Down eight early, but... We got a long way to go in the quarterfinals. Yeah, you know, the Colonels have just got to see a couple go in and get their confidence up a little bit. There's a nice feed from Walker. Good post up position from Cozart. Foul on Rivers. Just came into the game. Cozart hits the foul shot after missing two earlier. You can almost play the old shack hack on Cozart sitting down there in the lower 50s. He has three, and that stops a three minute. Five second, no point run for Eastern Kentucky. Cozart misses the second, and Nye Black races his way right for the rebound. 12 5, Dolphins. Biggest lead at eight, biggest deficit early at 2 0. 
Top of the key, Workman hit two threes last night. Rare McRae is a good shooter. He missed it. Rebound, Walker. Boy, he went way high up for that for a 6-1 guy, and he's running. He comes in, lays it up, and scores it. You go coast to coast for two. Leland Walker. Well, he had that look on his face when he got the midcourt. He was going to go to the rim. Ah, here comes the crowd. 13.50 to go. Haven't had a lot to cheer for. Meanwhile, Jacksonville 5 of 9 illegal screen as Workman, Nye Black came over, and Nye Black was the guy that created the illegal, his first. Well, sometimes that happens on a dribble handoff. The guy with the ball has to establish position. Here's Walker breaking out of that rebound right there and all the way to the cup. Wow, what a play by Walker. A high dribbling. You can just see it in his eyes when he headed about 50 feet down court. 3.05 between points, 3.29, no field goal. Walker into that. He'll try it again from 15. Leland Walker, a first-team all-conference guy. And the home team races back on a 5-0 run to answer the 8-0 run by Jacksonville. Here's Nye Black. His sister plays basketball off the bench for Eastern Kentucky. Nye Black. Got a screen, drives baseline to a skidding stop. Cooper all over him. Got it out high, Workman. Workman with 10 to shoot, drives on Moreno. Spins him, misses. Rebound off the hands, they say, of a colonel. A.W. Hamilton racing down. Upset with a call by the crew chief. Thought it was off an opponent of the colonels. But Gary Shannon said no. Let's watch it. Nice move by Workman, getting in there to the paint, a little jump, but missed everything, and I guess he said Walker tipped it away from behind right there. Five on the shot clock, by the way, 13-02 in the game. Workman trying to get inside. He's got a mismatch in against Walker. Walker tipped it away, 2-1. They got the shot off, and it's hit just ahead of the ticker by Jarius Cook. And he's got a short, compact release. He can really shoot it when he gets going. They were in trouble. And they didn't panic. Here's Cooper. Blanton now has come out, and Comer's come back in. Walker feeling it. Driving on Nye Black. Runs in. Misses. Tip Cozart once. No. Oh, Nye Black. Uh, guy went down hard. It's Rivers, and they're going to stop the play. You could see his head hit, and that is the worst. At its best. For you dig in your yard, call 811. One call, no accidents, no fines. Call 811. It's the law. Jacksonville. Coming in as the lowest seed in the tournament. They drive around Cooper, Nye Black into the corner to Cook, who hit the big three, up to Pruitt, who's come in. Dewan Pruitt. McCray covered up well by Comer. Now Yukamato in will cover up McCray. He'll miss the three, and it'll skip out, skip out to Yukamato. Here comes Walker. Guarded by McCray at 6-4. Walker out left. Comer step into a three, missed it. Yukamato a rebound. Pair of rebounds right into the game for the Senior through two junior colleges out of Michigan. Comer drives in, contact, bank, hit. Left side of the goal. Nice refusal of the screen right there. Went baseline, and able to use that glass. 15 to 11. Eastern Kentucky down by four. Their only lead 2-0. Cooper guarding Nye Black. Nye Black motors around him, muscles in, flips it up to himself. And unlike a missed call by Evan Berg, in the game against Lipscomb in Nashville, when you throw it up and catch it yourself, it's a travel, and this officiating crew made the right call. That's going to earn Nye Black a little trip to the bench. They're just out of control, determined to get that shot, and uh, just couldn't get a handle on it when he went up for it. So one thing about Nye Black, he is a high-level player, but he'll hunt some things at times. A little shaky with the ball handling. Back into the game, as we said, Pruitt off the bench tonight. He started 15 times, half of them. They stay with Cook out there. Bell started. Here's Yukimato. They'll give him the three anytime. Dangerous pass. Blanton has returned to the lineup. He's got it. Guarded by McCray. Two all-conference players into a double. Can't find Cozart, so he'll have to give it to Cooper. Eight to shoot. Yukimato in, and the lay-in. Well, he had all kinds of space when he caught the ball at the top of the key. And he said, heck, I'm just going to take this onto the rim. Four more in a row by EKU, and Comer from behind with a reach in. Comer didn't believe it, but he got armed. There's a right and had a good look at it. Second team foul there on the Colonels. Four for the Dolphins already. Dolphins come in averaging 20th most in the country. As you take a look at it, mm. 
He was going for the back tip. Yeah. Cooper will guard here in front of us, left side of us. Jossie Powell, a starter, back in. Brings it to another starter's return bell. Now Powell. There's a look at the head coach in Mincy. Inside, Cozart leaves his feet and it's put in by Workman. What a tournament he's having. Coming off a double-double last night. 17-13, Dolphins. 10-40 as the clock moves down here near one-quarter play. Comer, top, Yukimato. He'll shoot the three. Way off. Ball tipped to himself. Rebound by Payne. They'll give Yukimato that shot all night long. It's now 4 of 19 on the year. Moreno's been on the bench for a while. They haven't seen Buttry tonight. Giving Payne a lot of room. Come to meet it and get it. Bell motoring in. Yukimato blocks it. Second leading shot blocker on the Curdles is 24th. Blanton Cooper in transition. He banks it in. And he's fouled. How about a four-point play in tournament time for Colin Cooper. His 200th three in his career between Central Arkansas and here. He was running out left lane on the break. Blanton had it in the middle, kicked it out, and Cooper just went on up. Got a little bit of uh, maybe contact in the lower body when he shot that ball. Foul called on Powell. And Cooper, one of the best foul shooters in the conference, has tied this game at 17. Jacksonville led 12 to 4. Since then, it's been a 13 to 5 run. McCray missed it inside, got it back, kicks it out to Workman, and Workman misses the three. They have not had the threes going tonight, one of five. Here comes Blanton working inside on a dime to Yukimato, and the Colonels lead for the second time tonight. And a quick to highest remaining seed for the one seed. Four and five, Austin P against North Florida tonight. That ought to be a good one. North Alabama in Nashville against the three-seed Lipscomb. Y Yukimato tipped it to backcourt. Workman knows it. It'll be out of bounds in front of us here across from the benches. 1917 EKU, 9:31 in the first half. You were about six inches away from seeing a highlight reel right there. If Yukimato would have tipped that on into the backcourt. One of the best dunkers in the country, EKU, had Marcus Lewis win the NCAA Final Four dunk contest. I think Yukimato ought to be there. Who knows? Here is McCray to the goal. Boy, he can knife through traffic and use that left hand, and McCray put it in. He's a guy that could lead you to the promised land. Yeah. We're tied at 19. He's a high riser. Jacksonville going into a little 2-3 zone look right here. They played it a lot last night against Kennesaw State. Part of it because of foul trouble, but they like it. Here's Cooper. Hit the four-point play. He wears four. Goes low to Cozart and forced to pass. And it was the EKU's trouble trying to beat Cozart in the post on the left side against Austin P and Lipscomb and threw it away way too many times at Jacksonville. Scouted it right in the chance for the Dolphins to reclaim the lead. Coming left side, Payne, hand off to McCray. Comer on him, step back three. McCray, tickle and twine in the Bluegrass State. Well, he got it going from three last night. Four out of four from that range. 22-19 on a 5-0 run by Jacksonville. Comer, one hands at Yukimato, corner Cooper. And that one went off the official. He's part of the court. Yukimato reel it back in. 15 to shoot. Comer gets a screen, fakes the three, out to Blanton, 24-footer, no good. Eastern Kentucky, poorly shoot, shooting percentage tonight, one of six from three, McCray. Threw it through the lane. Comer tipped it away, but they got it back. Now Workman in the lane. Got it out right wing. Bell, he missed it. Workman gets Yukimato out of the way. Then Cozart got the rebound for Cozart. Rebound number four. Now Cooper steps into a three. He thought it was going. He missed it. Yukimato fakes him out, goes back up and in. John Yukimato playing the game of his life right now. And it's 22-21 in favor of Jacksonville. Uh, Coach Hamilton putting shooters back in on this next break if Jacksonville stays zoned. Four ties. Moreno Buttry for the first time at Walker at the next break. Dolphins by one. Biggest lead, eight. Biggest deficit, two. Nye Black, follow away 12-footer, in and out. Unfriendly spin there. Cooper goes rolling in as he and Nye Black got tied up at half court into the three guys waiting to come in. No foul. 
Comer fakes the step back, a low to Cozart, and they don't foul him. Crowd wanted to foul, didn't get it. We're coming the other way. Good defense, Jacksonville. Cozart's had a struggle tonight, a turnover there. 22-21, Dolphins. Night Black to Workman. Workman with that double-double last year, last night. Missed all last year with the ACL. Hand off to Bell. Bell will try to ring the bell in and out. Cozart the rebound, his fifth. Cozart leads the conference, 21st in the country in rebounds. EKU down one. Comer wearing one on his jersey. Looking low, nobody covered. Thread the needle to Cooper. Cooper back out, Blanton, try, Fecta, no. Yukimato kept it alive for a moment. Last touch off the hands of Payne. Cozart and McCray, like tonight, have had the big games, but there was just one lead switch and two ties. The good news is that Donovan Rivers, who went down hard on his head, is in. Blanton working to the lane, shoots it up. Wanted a foul, didn't get it. An off balance left of the lane shot good and we've had our fourth lead switch EKU 23-22 that's the first two points of the night for Blanton he had been 0 for 4 here's McCray got around Blanton comes to a stop looking forcing it up no and a rebound Cozart and Marino other for it Workman working in over Cozart and Cozart foul A.W. Hamilton wipes his hand over of his That's the top shot blocker in the nation right there that got whistled. Let's watch it. Where's the foul, Doug? Don't see it. Nope. Don't That's see twice it. now. I mean, that one was on last Cooper. contact and Blanton had down here on the finish. <laughs> now, I think. I think now A.W. Hamilton tries to turn to the humor with the official. See if it'll work with Michael Wallace. Jacksonville a little bit fortunate right there that Moreno and Cozart couldn't corral that rebound and got a good bounce. Never argue with hustle plays though. Again, Buttery, the former Mr. Basketball, the 5'11 shooter is in. Workman's tied it. Workman's put him ahead with what was a whistle that A.W. Hamilton, the six-year head coach of EKU, twice a conference coach of the year, has disagreed with. Five lead switches, five ties. Here's Blanton. He'll back it away. Underneath five and a half in a tight first half. Cozart wants to get it to Walker. Finally does. Walker fakes out the defender. Draws a triple team. Off to Blanton who cuts through. Nice. Patience by Walker. And the assist by Walker, the leading assist man. Really nice cut by Blanton from the top when Walker got in trouble. Eastern Kentucky is assisted now on three of their ten makes. One point lead EKU as we switch the lead for the sixth time. McCray hunting for a shot, feeds a load of Workman who floats in five. Cozart. A nice pass by McCray who averages all assist a game. And Workman to double figures again with 10. Seventh lead switch. 440 in the first half. Walker crossover dribble off a screen from Cozart. Good shut down defense. McCray now Blanton will try it. Blanton. Turns into the top of the key. Left lane. No. Rebound for Blanton. A moment. It rolls out. Buttry goes after it. Couldn't get it. Picked up by Nye Black. And they go one on two for the alley. Oh, and a one handed jam. And the net hanging up. What a play. As McCray brings it down on the Nye Black. Beautiful give. Yeah, that was a great hustle play by Jacksonville all the way around. Got that loose ball. And then Nye Black, able, he knew. He knew what was coming on that right lane. McCray, yeah, what a finish. I just put that orange leather in the palm of your hand, young man, and put it through the 18-inch in diameter. That was gorgeous. Yeah, that's, there's a reason you're recruited in the ACC. Yeah, you can see the fire in McCray's eyes. That one may be uh, sent up somewhere for a look, huh? <laughs> Staff, Walker, they've been all over him. Now Buttry. I black on him, going to mark that good shooter. Here comes Walker, and is it going to be a charge? Yep, shoved off, good call. Walker. Players with one each, so just four fouls gone. Workman to bring it in. McCray with 11, Workman with 10. They were both double-figure guys last night. 
EKU is a paltry one of nine from three, 11%. Their worst of the year, 16.7% against Austin P. And that was just about five, six days ago in Clarksville. Here's Workman, almost walked. Took it in against Cozart. Banks it, misses it, but offensive rebound. As Payne rushes in to get it away from Moreno. And they'll reset with a new 20. Up by three. Their biggest lead has been eight. Nye Black, who made the beautiful play. He drug his pivot foot. The crowd said, in trouble. Walker made the steal. Watch out, Workman up. Walker will tomahawk it. Looks at the student body with a nod of approval. One point game. Well, that'll get that 5,000 plus crowd up on their feet right there. Boy, we have had a couple of monster dunks. One by McCray on an alley oop by Nye Black, and then Walker on a steal and jam. 2.50 to go. High level game here in the quarters of the Atlantic Sun. 45th edition. McCray in the lane. Low to Workman. Left block against Cozart. Uses the shoulder. Scores over. They're getting low position against Cozart nowadays, aren't they? And EKU throws it away. Comer trying to force it down the side to Walker. How are they getting so low now? I mean, earlier, Cozart was effective in blocking shots. A-Sun coaches have changed things a little bit here. Now those inside defenders have to be aware of the penetration from their guards, and so they're trying to be in help position, and sometimes they're giving up the post position in return. 30-27, Jacksonville. Biggest lead, eight. Biggest deficit, two. Chance to stretch it, and McCray strokes it. Silky smooth south ball. He has two threes, 12. And Workman has 12 as well. Six-point lead for the Dolphins. 1970 NCAA runner-up with a great artist, Gilmore. And here nearly a steal from Comer, but he got it back. And Comer is fouled by Nye Black. He looks over at his head coach who played at Kent State and said, I'm okay. Jordan Mincy trying to make sure nothing es escalated and Nye Black went for the steal and almost got it there. Comer out of the ball game. Yeah, Comer came out of a trap right there with the ball and had the open court. Got the foul from Nye Black. That's two on him. 33-27 Dolphins out of bounds. No shot there. Sixth on them. Four on EKU and a throw way to backcourt to Walker. They worked on this because Jacksonville good at stealing under your own basket inbounds. There's Walker feeding it low to Cozart. When's he going to get going? Turns on Workman, reverses, scores. That's that pivot one way and the other. And Cozart puts in his second field goal, and he has five tonight. Well, that's a really good matchup between two good big men inside. He had been one of four before that make. Four-point game, 90 seconds first half. Jacksonville's got it at the pace they want it. Making half-court decisions here for McCray. Buttery on him. Now Cooper helps. Those left side come to meet at Bell. Down low. Missed shot. Cozart the rebound. Tipped away and stolen. Last touch off the hands of Payne, who stole the rebound for Cozart. Cozart looks tired right now. He's gone a long way getting knocked around. He hadn't come out of the game, Doug. That's why he's tired. Yeah, and he's inside battling with uh, Payne and Workman the whole night, so uh, that'll make anyone tired. And they brought Pruitt in and Rivers, so right. he's basically gone one against four. Now, not all four on the court yeah. at the same time, but they, they've saying. used they've used a posse yes. to go against one man. Yes. Big trip here for EKU down four. They go zone. Here's Walker. Under a minute in first half, 15 on the shot clock. Walker finds a 14-footer. Nestles to the beach basket for the kid from Indianapolis. He has eight two-point game 33 31 46 seconds first half they chase McCray he goes down the heart of the defense throws it over to a teammate who had to go down to get it Payne skip it out high around the workman the reset 14 on the shot clock 34 to play first half Bell the jump stop catch Bell comes left goes low to workman easy missed it goes out the rebound six rebound of the night got it out to Moreno they wanted a foul didn't get it now Eastern Kentucky will go for the last shot. Chance to tie. Crowd comes to its feet. More than 5,000 here tonight. Walker, nine to shoot. Step back three. Tried to sell a foul. Cozart rebound. He goes in. 
He scores. We're tied. Three point five to go. Cozart's played all 20 and fire in his eyes of the eighth son player of the year. Well, I really thought Leland Walker's shot was too early. About nine seconds to go when he took that. And then Isaiah Cozart just, just scrambling from that ball inside. Can't want to right there. Foul was called on Payne, so he has two. And he's faced four different guys in there, and he could put EKU ahead. He sure got a foul to give right here if they want to. 3.5 to go. And he hit it. 3.5 to go. Do they do it? Here comes McCray. McCray's got a good shot from 30. High off the backboard. And EKU down as many as eight. Gets it. Each game, Central Bank makes a donation to a local nonprofit organization for every three-point shot made during the game. Only one made for the Colonels. Central Bank member FDIC. <laughs> the only three the Colonels made was banked in with a deposit, and it was a four-point play. Walker got bumped into by Powell, didn't get the call. He's complaining a lot to the stripes and whistles, said he got hit in the jaw. Here's Payne backing down against Cozart, turns him over him. Good, Payne. He played at Incarnate Word a year. He has four. And they go back out on top on our ninth lead switch. 35-34 in favor for now. Cozart will try to give him the lead and missed one right at the goal. And it's saved in by McCray. But a tough night for Cozart at times inside. He's three of seven. He has been over 70% from the field in 11 games. He won't get a better look than that one right there. Here's McCray, drives on Comer to the baseline. He's going to go one-on-one, -on -one, nothing there. Out to Workman, fed it off to Bell. Bell got around Walker and scored. Well, Payne did a good job sealing off Cozart. Cozart was unable to come and help on that drive. Back-to-back -back buckets to start the second half for Jacksonville, and they're up by three. Comer to Cozart, lay in, and they pushed him. Comer, the assist, came in with 90 on the year. And that's his first of the night. Comer and Cozart have had that chemistry going all year long. There's Cozart on the row, a little middle screen, and uh, great job by Comer finding Cozart. 18.45 of the game. Tight here, tight with the two seed as well at halftime, and to land in the other two games an hour later than these. Austin P. the four, hosting the number five seed, North Florida. Six seed UNA in Nashville against the three seed Lipscomb. We're tied at 37. We have had nine lead switches and seven ties. Here's Nye Black. Got the start in the second half. Walker on him. Nye Black. Fancy dribbling. Been at four different schools. Two JUCOs. Two Division Ones. On a bounce to Payne. Payne works in on Cozart. Leans through him. High off the window. No. Tipped through the lane. It went back to Payne. He works loose. Blocked by Cozart. So Cozart, it's been a tough night to find blocks, but he timed that one for his first of the night. The 114th more than anybody in the nation. Well, He's a, great, a shot blocker extraordinaire. Great job on the block, but Eastern's got to come in here and clean up that loose ball. Been 50-50 balls tonight on the offensive rebound. In catch and shoot rhythm, no. Workman goes over the back of Moreno, got the rebound. That's like three times he's been able. Then he muscles Moreno out, couldn't get the rebound, and Comer runs deep into the corner. Boy, Workman's body just so good. The way he uses it, Comer wrap around. No tip. Comes on. Hurdles back out on top. Boy, a lot of times a shot on the rim like that that draws help is just like a pass. Cozart comes in and cleans that up. 13 for Cozart tonight at Eastern Kentucky. 39-37 leader. Comer thought he had the steal. Crowd boos. A.W. Hamilton pumps his fist down thinking it was a steal. Comer was trying to come in from behind and get this from McCray. Working that sideline. Comer got hung up on the screen and came from behind it. They said he had a little bit of arm. 39-37 EKU. 10 lead switches. 7 ties. Here's Workman against Moreno. Will Kosar come over and help? Nope. And Workman put it in. When are they going to switch from that? It's been when Workman gets a one-on-one -on -one against Moreno, he's been able to make him pay. Yeah, they may have to switch up Moreno and Kosar defensively. 
Workman has 14. McCray has 14 points. Tied to 39. Blanton through the lane. High riser way off. Rebound. Kozar back up. Missed it again. He gets knocked down. The EKU bench wanted a foul. Doesn't get it. And A.W. Hamilton said call a foul. Here's McCray into the lane. And he's fouled. And you're going to listen to the booze cascade down at Alumni Coliseum in Richmond, Kentucky. Coach Hamilton is saying if it's a foul on one end, it's got to be on the other. Here's a replay. McCray, of course, so so crafty and smart when he goes to the rim, gets to the middle of the paint again, and uh, Moreno, Moreno was the one that reached in and got him on the arm. It yeah. wasn't on Blanton. Yeah, so Moreno with the foul. That's his first. 15th point of the night from McCray. Looking for point 16 and a two-point lead. Got it. Well, they have come into this arena. Kennesaw State last night shot so well from the foul line, 80.6%. They've done it again tonight. They're perfect 5 of 5. Comer down the lane, and he scored over Nye Black as he went to the left side as Comer knifes to the goal, and he has four. We're tied at 41. Back and forth we go. That's what tournament plays all about, folks. Workman, Moreno on it. Hand off to McCray. Shoot the three. Missed it. Rebound Blanton. EKU one of ten from three. Three of nine for the Dolphins. They were in fuego last night at 62%. Pick and roll low to Cozart. Using the body. Drew the foul. And a mock cheer for the EKU crowd. Well, Workman said it. he just had his hands up and didn't foul. It may be a little give back there. Yeah, they just about had to call that when Cozart made a roll to the basket and Blanton hit him late. And then when he went in, it looked like Payne may have reached in and got a piece of the arm, but they called it on Workman. It's first on Workman. Six fouls at EKU, nine on Jacksonville, two each this half. Cozart's foul shot good, and now EKU back out on top. We're on the proverbial hoops playground, teeter-totter. Back and forth we go. Nine ties in this game, 12 lead switches. And Cozart has put them both in. Cozart with 15. Five of eight from the foul line, five of 10. Who's gonna find separation? Biggest lead for Jacksonville early on eight. Biggest lead for EKU, a scant two. High screen for McCray. Now it's Cozart. Out to Bell. Goes back to McCray out of the corner. <laughs> Missed it. Rebound Moreno. Walker, he does not have numbers. Going to shoot the three anyway. Missed it. Bad decision there. The crowd would have gone crazy if he hit it. He had a good look at it in transition. Couldn't get it to go. I don't blame me for taking that. Good shooter. EKU one of 11 from three tonight. And they lose it out of bounds. Wait, did they save it off the foot of Walker? Walker has to be held back. He's worried too much about the play. It's thrown off the body of Walker. They said, no, they're going to give it to EKU. I think they were upset that the, he was out of bounds, then threw it off Walker. There's Walker. Nye Black digging on him to Blanton. That's his range, but he missed it. Yukamato got shoved out. Cozart, long arm the rebound. 7-1 wingspan back up. No good again. How many have gone down in the well and come out for Cozart? He's had a tough night on the roll. He's 5 of 11, but he got another rebound there. And Cozart up to nine rebounds tonight, along with 15 points. And in line for another double-double was team by two. Never led by more than two. Nye Black wants it, loses Blanton. Cozart closes out to help. Nye Black in trouble, finds Payne. One hands it up, in and out. Offensive rebound pulled down by Pruitt. So they have taken Workman out, and they brought in the 6'8 and the 6'9 guys. They are deeper in the post than EKU. Here's McCray spinning. Feeds it down low, nothing. Six to shoot, hand in the face three, missed it. Defensive rebound. A.W. Hamilton wanted to shove off on the offensive guy. Didn't get it. You can see these two coaches working. Jordan Mincy, third year. A.W. Hamilton, six. McCray, seven to shoot. Takes the screen, five to shoot. He knows it, goes low. Yukamato flies, and shot clock violation. Yukamato and Cozart 
go double team in the post that it's a turnover. Well, that's what Cozart does to you. He makes you think when you get the ball inside and that little hesitation there by Jacksonville was enough to get that shot clock violation. Jacksonville 0 for their last four. They've gone 249 without points. EKU, two minutes and eight seconds. We stay two-point EKU game. Walker, Cooper has come in, hit that four-point play. Cozart draws it up, back to Cooper, three ball. Second of the night. Seven for Cooper. Biggest lead of the night for the home team. 46-41. Here's where you see that number one seed advantage with the home crowd come into play. Jacksonville, one of its last nine, 5,000 plus roaring. Nye Black hunting for a shot against Blanton. Leans in, nothing there, defense solid. Nye Black in trouble, find Cook. Cook falling out, finds Payne. Got it off to McCray, three to shoot. He doesn't know it, step back three. He got it! Oh my, their second big three just ahead of the shot clock. I think McCray's got pro potential the way he shoots the ball. I'll tell you what, that was a big time shot. Right at the expiration and a bad pass by Walker. Feeding, stolen by McCray, tipped away, but he fa got fouled on the arm. Robert McCray, the fifth, with maybe the biggest shot of the season for Jacksonville, Doug. They were on the ropes. The shot clock was under a second when he drilled a tough desperation three. Yeah, when he gets in the open court, he's going to make something happen, able to get the ball to the rim and draw that contact by Walker. That's Walker's second. Two team fouls on the Dolphins, three for the Colonels right now. Jacksonville before that desperation three, no points for three minutes and 56 seconds. And what a way when you fall down by a game-high five, to kind of knock the dirt off your grave. That's a big time answer, McCray, two possessions in a row. And he'll go to the line on the Walker foul. That's the second on Walker, third on Easter. Jacksonville's committed two. And if Walker can hang in there, he will. He'll stay on the court along with Cooper, Yukamato for Moreno, Cozart and Blanton on the other side. Bell back in, Nye Black, Workman back in. Pruitt stays in the court, and McCray has rolled this one in. It rattled the rim, came out for a moment, and he has 19, and five in a row by McCray is tightened after Easter ripped up five in a row. 13 minutes to go in Richmond. Who advances to the semis? If it's Easter, it'll be here. Jacksonville will be on the road no matter where. Walker with a hand in his face, no good. Yukamato kept it alive and tipped it to himself. Low to Blanton, back to Yukamato. Yukamato corner right to Blanton. Low to Cozart and he's held. Before he even got it, it's on McCray. And McCray was matched up with Cozart for most of that possession and they couldn't get the ball to him. And finally, they noticed there was a mismatch inside and Cozart kept working and able to get the position to get the pass. Three fouls at each team. Again, Jacksonville comes in 20th highest fouling team in the country. They've been called for 10 tonight. 12.39 to go, shot clock reels to 20, and they throw it backward to Blanton. Here he comes, 46-46. Blanton, Nye Black, staying with him. Blanton turns him, shoots from eight. Bottom. Six for Blanton. He's seven where, points away from going number 12 all time at EKU. That's where Blanton does most of his work in there to mid range, and he was real patient there, didn't give up on his shot opportunity. EKU 5 of 13, 4 of 12 this half for Jacksonville. Workman working loose down low, but Yukamato covers him. Now out high to the big guy, Pruitt inside, Workman under the basket. Works up, puts it up, no. Tip back up, no. Workman out of touch, comes out of there. Cozart, he gets bumped out of bounds, got it to Blanton. And then Blanton called him for a travel. Ozark got nostle, nestled out of bounds, and then Blanton walked, so it'll be out of bounds to Jacksonville. There's Mike's marvelous career, and Yukamato deflected away, but they sent one over the back, and all A.W. Hamill can do, can do is cross his legs, put his hands on the back of his head, and just sit back. He has not been happy in the least. 
with Garrick Shannon, Michael Wallace, and Jason Deering. Yukimato got it over the back. The guy with the headband on, Comer wears one as well. Chance to tie or go ahead in a 10 tie, 12 lead switch game. Bell driving baseline, cut off up top, Pruitt. Pruitt will bring it out. They want to get it to McCray. Comer tracking him like a ghost. Now Bell. He's driving inside, and it's pinned by Cozart. Second block of the night. Here comes Comer. Numbers not back. He'll wait for traffic to clear. Lob in the lane to Cozart. Working down. And they called it travel on him as he lost his footing. I think A.W. Hamilton tried to keep his cool, but he is not happy right now. As you can tell him, he's buttoning his lip. He, is, he wants it so bad for this team that all came back. Nobody went to the portal. Rare in college basketball these days. Workman lobs it in. They've got McCray. Comer on him, tipping it away. McCray went down. Comer picked it away from him. Yukamato's got it. Yukamato driving in against Workman, and he missed it. Eastern Kentucky not shooting well in the game at 38.5%, but here in the second half, Jacksonville struggling there in the 20 percent tile. Shot 62 percent in the second half last night. Under 11 we go. Here's Pruitt. Hand off Bell. Got away from Yukamato. Rises. He's fouled from behind. Yukamato again. Back to back fouls. Foul shots coming. It'll be Moreno coming back in. Probably for Yukamato here. A little dribble handoff there. Bell got the corner turned and Yukamato trying to catch up. May have clipped his arm there on the way up. Here's Bell, 75% shooter. They're a perfect eight for eight, make it nine for nine. Doug, they have come into this building, a team that shot below 70% on the year. And between last night and tonight, they are 34 of 40 from the foul line. That's pretty impressive. I don't care what level you're on or what point of the season, that's, that's putting it in the hole right there. Bell to tie the game yet again, and he did with a roll. He has six. Back and forth we go in a 12-lead switch, 11-tie game. And crunch time is on the horizon. Blanton working his way loose, reverse right to left, scores. Straight line drive off the right elbow. Well, they kind of cleared that elbow out for him and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. Four games around the conference on home courts tonight to get to the semis Thursday. McCray drives in on Moreno. Missed it. It was down in. Another rebound and basket as Workman goes over Cozart and scores. They have had offensive rebounds galore in this game on misses, Doug, even though EKU just three down to him, but look at this, the hands of Workman. Yeah, that's a, that's a ball that Eastern has to come up with right there. They are not cleaning up the offensive glass. That's uh, 14 offensive rebounds by Jacksonville. Eastern's got 12 of their own. Only one player has three fouls, Powell for Jacksonville. That's two on Cozart. Workman to break the 50-50 tie. Workman has 16 tonight, and he does. They have not missed a foul shot. Jordan Mincy's team doing what it takes to pull upsets. They beat the defending champion Kennesaw State by six last night. Comer turns the corner, dumps it off to Kozart for the dunk. The 57th of the year. There's that connection again. Comer turned the corner. When the help came, Kozart was right there. Nice feed. Back-to-back -back lead switches. We've switched it 14 times. Great tournament game. 52-51, EKU 945. McCray. Holding high right. Off to Powell, who was on the bench for a while. He turns the corner, got around Moreno. Blocked by Cozart. Jacksonville wanted a goal 10. Two on one. Cooper into a three. Missed it. Boy, Eastern in two transitions. Cooper and Walker have both missed threes in transition. Crowd was ready to explode. EKU is two of 13 from three. And both of them have come from Cooper. Comer's 0 for 1. Blanton 0 for 3. Moreno. 0 for 1, Walker 0 for 3. Walker got it over Cozart, who got a fingernail on it. And McCray puts him back out on top, 53, 52. He has 21. He had 31 the other night. Under nine minutes to go. They go 
into the zone, 2-3 zone. Blanton, Blanton working. Goes inside, reverses, scores as he breaks down Stefan Payne. Teeter, daughter, time in Richmond, KY. Back and forth we go. Hurdles by one in a game that has been back and forth. 12 ties, 16 lead switches. Jacksonville, the ball. Their biggest lead, eight, and it came very early in the game at 14-43. EKU had a five-point lead before McCray hit a three at the right at the end of the shot clock and then got fouled after a Colonel miss and scored five in a row to make it even again. Trying to go back out on top of the Dolphins. Powell in the corner. He's a good shooter. Beat it to the foul line to Workman. Drive on Moreno. Spinning. Cozart leaves his feet. And Cozart with his third foul. Doug, the one-on-one -on -one matchup, Moreno against Workman. Jacksonville is feasting on that right now. Yeah, Workman is so clever. He's got great footwork in there in the paint, and he's going to pump fake. It looks like to me about 90% of the time. When he gets it in there, he's going to show that ball. Eastern has got to be more disciplined and stay on the floor. Meanwhile, just keep on keeping on for the foul line if you're at the Dolphins. Everything has been thrown into the ocean like they're shooting at the ocean. They haven't missed one. Still have it. They're 12 for 12 after last night going 25 of 31. As the old DJ at Norfolk State used to say, every time a player would go to the foul line, his home team or the visitors, free throws, win ball games. Well, you got that right. One more for Workman, look at a point 18. 23 have been scored by McCray. So they just continue to add up points. 41 of the 55 by the Dolphins by two guys. Workman and McCray try to carry the Dolphins into the semis as the last seed. They needed two teams to lose after them on Friday to even get in. Blanton, tough shot, missed it. That was not a high percentage shot as he went to the right and really didn't get squared up, Doug. Yeah, he had a little separation, but just, uh, I thought he was going to use the glass at that angle. Did not. 13 ties, 17 lead switches. Who gets separation? Curdle's got a five-point lead and couldn't hold it. Now Jacksonville tried to add to it. Jossie Powell loses Walker and missed it. Cozart for the rebound is 11th. He has a double-double, 17 and 11. He's had a double-double 14 times this year, 21 times as a Curdle. And six other times he's been a rebounder a point away. Comer down the lane, and they tipped it away from him. Good slap down there by Bell as Comer ran into a double team, left his feet. Turned over. Dolphins by one, 55-54. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go. As Nye Black, who's had a rest of the bench, gets a screen here. Blanton on him. Picks up the dribble. They go foul line to the big guy, and he missed it. And a rebound, and it's going to be an offensive foul on the rebound foul. And it was a hold on Dewan Pruitt. Jordan Mincy wants it. In. Walker was matched up with him on that uh, play on a switch. 55-54. Dolphins by one. This is what they did to Kennesaw State. Would never let him get over the top on him. Oh, he's had an answer. EK only two threes tonight, and they both come from a guy on the bench right now in Cooper. Patience here. Ten on the shot clock out of the timeout. Now it's go time. Cozart sets the screen. Walker looks. Had it tipped away. Bats it up in the air. Three of the shot clock turned over Walker. Great defense, Jacksonville. Batting the hatches down. Take the ball up by one, and the crowd has been taken out of it a little bit. Two three zone by Jacksonville has been real successful, and they're content just to grind this out of possession by possession. Those are three fouls. Nye Black passed up one. Powell over to the star of the game, McCray, and he missed it. Good job there by Cozart to wall off. A rare miss by McCray. He's only he's 7 to 15, and Moreno has to save it in. Been a tough night for Michael Moreno. He don't want his career to end on the night he's had tonight. 0 for 1 from the field, two points, four boards. Under these six minutes to go now. Dolphins play day, and the ball kicked on a bounce pass by Comer, trying to thread the needle as Kozar came off the foul line, drive into the court. That'll reset the clock to 20. Yeah. Offense, you want to have a situation where two guards, two are guarding one, and uh, Comer got that, tried to thread the needle there. Kozar was rolling wide open. Comer leaves, Cooper in. 
EKU has had a tough night shooting. Two of 13. Cooper trying to hit one from 12. Missed. EKU has gone cold. Scoring drought over two and a half minutes and now over three minutes. Here's McCray. EKU shooting has gotten them tonight. They're shooting 43%, 38 this half, but Jacksonville still leading, even though they're shooting 27% this half. Workman, illegal screen, or is it a reach on Eastern? It's on Cooper. Eastern Kentucky, the one seed, has been called for eight fouls compared to four in the Dolphins. Repeat this, Jacksonville, the 20th highest fouling team in the country. Averaging 19.7. Tonight, they've been whistled for 11. Cooper and Powell just body bumping right there. And Cooper got the last bump. They called it. Jacksonville cannot miss a free throw. They are perfect. 14 for 14. That wins you games. They're up by two. 56-54. 5.24 to go. One more here for Jossie Powell. Long seat on the bench, but he's back in there. And every time they look a little short, it'll hit that rim and drop all feathery touches. Four in a row by J.U. They lead by three. 5.18 to go. Walker hunting for something. They packed in that zone. Again, poor shooting has hurt Eastern from outside. Walker to Blanton. Back to Leland. Walker 12 to shoot to Blanton. Extra share in the corner. Bad throw. They anticipated. Intended for Moreno. He didn't come to meet him. McCray drives. Misses. Moreno rushing back collects the rebound is fifth EKU has equaled Jacksonville in rebounding three-point game 445 to go Easter coming up on four minutes without scoring Blanton will try a three raise the roof Blanton he has nine we're tied at 57 to say they needed that was an understatement. Just the third of the night. They're 3 of 14. Here comes man number six. How does Jacksonville handle it? He's been showing zone right here. This is what the one seed will get you. Workman spinning in. Scores. He's tough. Workman. He has 20. Well, he knows how to work that paint. Got his body into the defense, able to get the shot up. Give him 21 officially, 23 for McCray. Two-point game. Walker turning the corner, floating. Fire, it goes in on a kind bounce. Tied again. And Cozart down hard on the court. I didn't see what happened. Cozart hadn't come out of it. Saw the other scores. Anything jump out at you there? I didn't catch it in time, Greg. I was looking at the uh, yeah. lineup here. Eastern with a little full court pressure again. Yeah, you talk about Walker getting the, the points. He he also broke a three minute five second dry spell in the first half. Offense hadn't been there tonight for Eastern. Now it's two on two game. And Workman taken into the body of Cozart. Stops at a dime, got it out to Powell. Well, he tried to get that fourth on Cozart. Just four fouls of the Dolphins. And they haven't missed a foul shot. They're 15 to 15. EKU's 8 of 11. Big possession here tied at 59. It's McCray, tipped away, Comer went down, Walker got it, Walker gets knocked down, no whistle, he wants a timeout and he got it. No, they call a jump ball. Well, he said timeout, timeout, but Eastern Kentucky gets the possession arrow. Other well, referees stepping in, I don't know if they're going to give a timeout or not right here. Well, Walker said timeout, timeout, and then the official said jump ball. So it looks like it's just going to be possession arrow. Watch this melee. Yeah, wild scramble for the ball. Walker was trying to call for timeout. I think it was a good call because it looked like McCray had his hands on the ball by the time yep. Walker called for it. Yep. Good job. Tied at 59. How you doing, Doug? You got your night for glycerin this pills is what going? what March is all about, baby. <laughs> you want Dickie V on me there. <laughs> Comer passes up the three low to Cozart. Again, they defend the low post. Three games in a row, EKU has been victimized trying to feed the post, and it's created turnover after crucial turnover. That first side entry, they've got to get ball reversal. 11th turnover of the night. Jacksonville has made only seven. These two teams both right around the break-even point. Payne handoff, Nyblack hasn't scored tonight. Willie now, he's caught in the lane, shoots over Moreno. 
And Nye Black delivers his first two of the night. Can't defend it any better. 61-59, Jacksonville. Every possession crucial is number one going down in the opening round. Here's Blanton. Hit a big three to tie it. He'll shoot from 15. Money. 15 for Blanton. Tied at 61. We have had tie after tie. 15 of them. 17 lead switches. And a timeout to the third-year head coach, Jordan Mincy, who won the Joe B. Hawk. Night. Only 32% shooting this half, but they're in a tie. Jacksonville. Here's Nye Black. 2.09 to go, 20 on the shot clock to Workman. They run McCray off. He'll drive in. Partially blocked by Cozart. Offensive rebound. Foul to Gurdle. Was it Moreno from behind or Walker in front? Walker. Absolutely crushed Eastern Kentucky tonight. They've given up 15. And McCray came off this little dribble handoff action. Cozart was coming down on the drop coverage. And able to influence the shot, but no cleanup on the weak side. And that's what happens when Kozart comes over to help. You open up the boards. Workman to the line, 69% shooter. They have not missed a foul shot. They're 16 of 16. You couple that with Eastern Kentucky shooting 21% from three, three of 14. And that tells a big story here. One more for Workman. He has 22. Trying to tie McCray for game high honors, and he does. They have been without a heartbeat at the foul line. They've been so good. 23 for Workman. Wow, what a game. Under two minutes to go. EKU down two and on the ropes on their home court. Blanton turning the corner. Looks like it's all him here. Top 15 footer, no good. Kozart got fouled. Yep. Kozart going up. And it was Payne who shoved him out of the way. It'll be out of bounds. EKU just the fifth foul on the Dolphins with a minute 48 to go. Yeah, Blanton just going ISO right there. Got the foul, uh, got the shot up over Nye Black, and they just push Cozart out of position. Minute 48 to go. Walker works way out high. Oh, they have Blanton wide open. Get it to him, and they got a timeout. Blanton was wide open, had the guy out. 20 on the shot clock, 148 to go in the game. Dolphins 63 61. Neither team has had a double figure lead. Comer had to burn a timeout. Eastern has one left. Jacksonville two. Into Blanton. Blanton double teamed out to Comer. Well, they passed up a potential three now. Blanton. 100 ticks left. Blanton against McCray. Star against star. Low to Moreno. Blanton the assist. Tied again at 63. Blanton able to get to the paint and make a big play right there. Tie after tie after tie. We've had 17 ties, 17 lead switches. Jacksonville doesn't want the lead to switch anymore. Eastern wants it to switch once. Shot clock at 13, game clock at 113. Here comes McCray. Got inside. Cozart blocked it. They call a foul. McCray went to the floor hard right there. That's four fouls on Cozart. He has not come out of the game. Let's see if it was. Doesn't matter. It is in the books. On that, that kick, screen, Cozart just brought kick, his arm down. Yeah, kicked the legs out a little bit as well. Here's McCray, 70% foul shooter. Six for six tonight. The team 17 to 17. 18 of 18. This is a phenomenal foul shooting effort for Jacksonville, who came in in the high 60s. Last night with 25 of 31. And one more for McCray at 109. Jacksonville putting four guys back. They're not even worried about an offensive free throw. And finally a miss. Here we go. Minute five to go. Everybody standing at Alumni Coliseum, Baptist Health Arena. Minute to go. 64, 63, Jacksonville. Walker in the corner. Moreno a three. Missed it. Moreno has had a night that he does not want to remember if it ends his career. He missed the three, and Jacksonville calls the timeout. You got a feel for one of the greatest after they got it to four court, up by one with 44.3 to go, 23 on the ticker. Comer guards McCray. Big possession here both ways. Semi-final for somebody on Thursday. 
12 on the shot clock. Now 10, 30 to play. They got a double. McCray's in a trap. They've got him in a trap. And he goes low. They got it to Workman. And he walked without a dribble and laid it in. Good find by McCray. Colonel's 20 seconds. Down three. Timeout, A.W. Hamilton. Yeah, I think you take the quick two right here and extend the game. If you go for a three right here and miss it, then you're giving Jacksonville the last opportunity, uh, uh, you know, of the, of the game. Yeah. Walker, Cozart, Moreno, Blanton, and Cooper. So you got a new shooter in, Comer out. Walker on the sideline. Stuff to bring it in to Moreno. Got it back to Walker. Over to Blanton. Three for the tie. No good. Cozart back up. No, but he's fouled. Boy, that was down in and came out. EKU a three of 16, three-point shooting nine, and it's going to bite him unless something changes here late. They're down by three with Cozart at the line. And again, guaranteed two shots when you foul here if you don't get a steal. Cozart needs to hit them both. He missed. Reality on the doorstep of setting in for 17 and 13 Eastern Kentucky. One more for Cozart, who's five of nine tonight to make it a two-point game. He hit it. Now you go for the steal here. Comer in. Who are they going to take out? I think they're going to take Cozart out. Two-point game. 66-64. Eastern going with a little quicker lineup right there. They're going to try to deny the ball inbounds. Try to get a hard trap. They've got to get a steal or a foul real quick in this possession. Want to get it into Powell. Nye Black brings it into McCray. Back to Nye Black. Got it off to Powell. They found him with 8.1 to go. Again, A.W. Hamilton thought they got the walk. The officials did not call the little mini step there. It would have been Colonel Ball down one. Great job by McCray to assist his teammate. Here it is. And there it is. Kind of been a story in the A-Sun this year, hadn't it? Yeah. Powell, 78, 78% shooter right here on the line. Two puts nails in the coffin. EKU gets help. They had hit 18 in a row as those blood vessels tighten. They missed two in a row. One more here with 8.1 to go. It is tied here, the 10 seed. Needed two losses by other teams to even make it. Crowd roars. Powell shoots to make it a three-point game. He's been out of timeouts. Three-point game, need a three here. I don't know that you have time to go for a quick two to go. EKU, what do they have in it to extend their season? Bring it in to Comer. He's racing. They're going to foul him and force him into a one and one with 6.3 to go. Smart move here. It's what you get because they're not going to let EKU put a three up. I like the way head coach Jordan Mincy had his team play it. And now Comer has got to knock these two down to cut it to one with 6.3 to go. No timeouts. Comer a 66% foul shooter. It's a one and one though. And he missed it. Rebound Comer. Step back. Fake. He's fouled. Three points. Fouled. He's fouled. He faked. Eastern Kentucky needs three by Comer with 3.6 to go. Crowd quiets. Way short. He knows it. The pressure just Eastern is not shot the way they normally shoot tonight. Got to give Jacksonville a lot of credit. But EKU has missed three foul shots down the stretch. Second one good. Now I think you just got to miss this one. Got to miss it intentionally and see if you can get the offensive rebound put back. 3.6 seconds, not enough time to let Jacksonville come down and hit two free throws. Well, Kozar comes back in. They keep Yukamato on the bench. See if he goes for the miss. Two-point game. Yeah, he does. Rebound. Moreno had it. Got it back. Spins. Banks misses. Jacksonville has knocked off the one.